Tonight is Dennis Siebel night at the Centennial Regional Arena. Please direct your attention to the gate between the players' benches as we welcome Dennis and Marianne Siebel and representing the Brooks Bandits, President Tom McNulty and past president Paul Seaton. Now we ask you to direct your attention to the video board above center ice for a presentation, a video presentation in honor of Dennis Siebel's contributions to our team. From the face off, puck laying there, comes up along the board, Sakura couldn't get it, here's a two-on-one for the Bandits. McLeish cutting in on goal, cutting in the middle, he scores! Here's Wilkins now, off the board, comes back to Smiley, a shot, he scores! Smiley, a hard shot, and the Bandits lead three to nothing! Turns it around and the Bandits get it down the ice with nine seconds left. The Bandits are the champions of the Alberta Junior Hockey League. Here's Mashmeyer up the middle. Gets it to Hendrick. There's a shot now. The Bandits throw their sticks and drums and helmets. There's a big mess on the ice as the Bandits are the Alberta Junior Hockey League champions. And one special congratulations I want to pass on is to you, Dennis Siebel. You have ridden the bus with this hockey club for 12. From day one, you have billeted. Your family has supported this club 100%. And congratulations to you. This is not Siebel Championship for you as it is for anyone else, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to invite Bandit, Brooks Bandits past president Paul Seaton to deliver remarks on behalf of the Bandits organization. Dennis, Marianne, this game, this night is in your honor. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Brooks Bandits board of directors and therefore the organization, it gives me great delight and is a privilege to say a few words on this significant occasion, this distinctive moment. Until this season, that is for an extensive 15 years, Dennis Siebel has been the voice of this team. He has done an unthinkable number of miles. There have been plenty of lows, for instance, that astonishing league record, we believe, a run of four years at the very bottom with no playoff participation, and we even had Curtis Glencross two of those years.
But then more latterly, there have been an abundance of highs, not least winning the Royal Bank Cup. A dream for Dennis. A dream for Dennis, indeed a dream for all of us. Throughout these 15 years, Dennis's passion, support and commitment have not once faltered always an enthusiastic manner and voice. Furthermore, the devotion has run in the family, a billet for some 13 or so years, with Marianne overseeing all billeting, most of that time as well coordinating the billets and many social events. Other family members have been billets, Marianne was on the board of directors for eight years, a few of which were rather difficult. This Junior A team, this organization, is one of the finest, if not the finest, in Canada. The Brooks Bandits... The Brooks Bandits are grateful for the contribution you, Dennis, and you, Marianne, have made towards this reality. The board, the board of Directors has long contemplated recognition. It is with sincere acknowledgement that we now rename the suite in which you, Dennis, have spent many impassioned hours, the Dennis Siebel Media Suite. This is something so special. I would like to say thank you, but I couldn't possibly say enough thank yous for 15 years with this organization. Unbelievable. And of course, there's been some downs, and I wanted to tell Paul, this week, I was also let go at the radio station, so that's a bit of a downer, and I got a payout. And with the NDP and the Liberals taking over, they say, you better hang on to your wallet with both hands. <laughs> so I went to my bookkeeper and the payout that the station has given me, and I went to her and I said, I have $95,000. If I give you 35%, how much will you take off? She said, I'll take everything except my earrings off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brooks Bandits will always be my Brooks Bandits. And I hope, boys, you get her going, get her done this year, because this organization has been so good to me and Mary Ann. There's no other thing then get out there and win. Thank you, everybody, so much. Hi Brooks, my name is Chad Grutman. I played and billeted with Dennis and Marianne for two seasons. Dennis always had a great story or a funny joke. Dennis was always the type of guy to sit and just chat with. This night is about a guy that is truly heart and soul of the Bandits organization. On behalf of my family, to you and your family, Dennis, enjoy your night. You deserve it. You will never meet a better radio guy. Go Bandits! Hi Dennis, I hope you enjoy your night. It's your night of honour. And I hope you had time to get some polydent before your big show. Dennis, RJ Reed here. Uh, 
Sorry I couldn't make it down to your big night. I know it's a special night for everyone in Brooks. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best in the future, and I hope all is well. Hey Dennis, greetings from Idaho. Congratulations on a fantastic broadcasting career. All the best to you and Marianne. We look forward to seeing you soon. Hi there, I'm Rob Brown, reporter photographer with the Brooks Bulletin. When I first moved here, I was 22. Now I'm 38. I'm going to tell you a story about when I was 22 that happened with me and Dennis and it made me want to uh, stay being a reporter. Uh, jewelry heist downtown Brooks and as fast as the scanner goes off, Dennis comes whipping around the corner in his Chevette and says, get in, stallion, kicking open the passenger door. I say, don't worry, I jump in my red 97 tempo and off we go downtown Brooks. And as we're driving downtown, the then fire chief Denny, Dennis Cunningham gets on the scanner and says they're headed through the Marshall drain. So Dennis and I hang a right, head for Sunny Lee, and the train's coming at the crossing. Dennis doesn't miss a beat, spins through the traffic as the arms are coming down. I follow, and now we're going down uh, the wrong way of traffic, um, against traffic, down the left-hand side of the road. Um, into the Marshall drain, and within five uh, to ten minutes, they caught the jewelry thieves because they thought we were undercover cops. And it was a great... Uh, Example of small town, how uh, it can be exciting uh, in the news beat, and, uh, and Dennis helped me out with that, and it's a reason I'm still a reporter today. That's my Dennis Siebel.